and welcome to the Minds Be Kind Commitments and Learning Managers Weekly Assembly. The Minds Be Kind focus this week is on resilience. During the first lockdown in March, there were some amazing stories of Beacon Hill learners demonstrating great resilience. Sir Tom Moore proved an excellent role model. A reminder of what resilience is. It's the ability to bounce back from stress and pressure. This period of lockdown is bound to throw up more challenges. And it's important we are honest with ourselves and our levels of resilience. Understand our own levels of resilience. On the screen is a short survey you can do today. The scoring system is really simple and is on the right hand side of the screen at the moment in the well-being alert. So all you need to do is have a pen and a piece of paper and complete the questionnaire. You'll need to pause the screen now whilst you have a go. On the next slide you can find out what your scores mean. Once you have totaled up your scores, here's what they mean. If this score shows you your resilience needs improving, you can take control. Some ideas are on the right hand side of the screen at the moment in the wellbeing alert. By visualising your success, this can help put you in a confident frame of mind. Sports stars do this by seeing their next game or match in their head and visualising themselves winning. You can do this in all aspects of life. By boosting your own self-esteem, this could also help improve your confidence. You can do this by taking on a new exercise challenge, a little like Sir Thomas More did in the summer. This will help you become more optimistic and think positively. Your family and friends are great people to ask for help in all circumstances. But remember, you always have your teachers and learning managers during this lockdown phase. Learning new skills is a great way to boost your resilience. Your new commitments challenge or your next live lesson could be a great place to start. Finally, be yourself. Trying to please lots of people by acting differently can be tiring and difficult to keep up. Be true to you and you won't go far wrong. And finally a reminder, don't forget if you don't feel like talking to somebody you know, please visit cooth.com to speak to somebody specially trained free and online. Welcome to the Commitments Lockdown Challenge number two. Uh, this week's challenge is Ready, Steady, Cook. So what we'd like you to do um, is just have a go at learning uh, a new recipe, cook something new and enjoyable. Um, this will also allow you to tick off one of your learning that inspires commitments fans once again whilst doing this. Uh, and again, email any entries that you have to challenge at beaconhillacademy.org.uk. And if you have a little look um, on the hyperlinks there on the slide, you can click on these links and they will take you to some fantastic recipes that you can have a little go at cooking. So all the best and I look forward to seeing some of those fantastic dishes that you produce. Hello Year 10. I do hope that you're all keeping well and staying safe. Firstly, I'd like to say a big well done to the amount of you who are engaging with the online learning and attending the live lessons. However, it's also key that you are looking after your emotional well-being during this pandemic, because I know that some of you, it is a difficult time for being isolated away from your friends, your family, and no school routine. There is a service called COOF, which offers emotional well-being support 
for young people. So why don't you head over to the website at www.coof.com. Here you can sign up where you can view magazines with helpful articles. People share their personal experiences and tips. These are from the Coof team and from other young people. Discussion boards. You can start or join in a conversation with the friendly Coof community. There are lots of topics to choose from. You can chat with the team. There is a helpful team on hand to talk about anything that is on your mind. You can do this through Messenger or the live chat. You can also write your hour and daily journal to track your feelings or emotions and reflect how you are doing. This service is an anonymous service, so please do sign up and use the support that's available. I do hope that you have all enjoyed this assembly. Speak to you all soon.